I decided to do yet another video because um, I actually have had some mutual friends as of late whose relationships have been failed. I'm the eyeball out of the bunch. Um, and I'm the one who's been single for extended stretch. And ironically, I have been on a celibacy journey for, oh my God, I think it's been four and a half years. Wow. Um, it'll be five, like the beginning part of next year. But um, the reason I was thinking about it was that I think sometimes with women, we are not, and I think with men too, but I'm just saying it as it relates to women being a heterosexual woman, I think that with human beings in general, we are not specific and concise enough about what would be best suited for us in terms of having a, a life partner or a significant other. And then we kind of throw caution to the wind and take whatever falls in our lap. And then we end up being bent out of shape and disappointed when things don't work out. And I say all that to say that one of the biggest problems I've seen is that you know, it's not just about how the person looks. Certainly, we don't want to go to bed and wake up with a gremlin every day. I mean, or a treasure troll or, you know, a gargoyle. You know, no one expects for you to do that. You know, of course, we want them to be somewhat pleasing to our eye in addition to having great conversation and things of that nature. But, like, I don't think people think about things in regards to character enough. Um... I find with black Christian women, because that tends to be what I've had dealt with being a black woman that was raised Baptist, even though I don't adhere to that anymore, is that a lot of black women, when you ask them what they want in a mate, it's never things of deeper importance. It's always, well, he's got to be Christian and God-fearing. But I mean, hell, a man could be God-fearing and whoop your ass and treat you like shit and go to church every Sunday. It's never like... Does he want children? Is he good with animals? Well, you know, the children thing may come up in the equation. Um, it's never like, you know, is he spontaneous sometimes? Is, you know, I, it's things that I just never hear. Like, is he health conscious? Which is very, very important because I've heard horror stories about um, there being war, World War Three in a household when a diet changed. You know, um, you know, mom might get on a health kick and decide that it's best for the whole family. And I'll do a video on that too, because this feminist bullshit being purported about women doing domesticated stuff being suppressive is just complete and utter bullshit. But anyway, um, you know, and the husband being resistant and the wife might be on a weight loss journey, but he'll continue to bring snacks in the house. And he knows the stuff that's her weakness because like, he's being spiteful and he might be sabotaging her diet or a woman might decide she wants to go back to college because it'll be beneficial to boost the income of the household so that they can do more things as a family. And instead of trying to help her out, he'll be like, well, you're on your own and he'll make things harder for her. So she'll sabotage and fail. And I'm not saying that that can't happen flipped around. I'm just speaking on experiences that I know of with heterosexual females and what they've experienced because we know Everything can go either way. That, that's, that's always the case. But um, it just had me thinking. I'm like, you know, these situations happen where women are really not being clear cut and concise about what they want to make. I mean, and really taking time to think about it. Like, you know, what is his character like? Like, is he going to be the type of man that other than protecting and providing... What type of legacy is this man going to leave behind beyond like working a nine to five job and working hard and, and, and helping to maintain a household? Like there's not a lot of black male leadership. Um, There are not a lot of men stepping up to the plate, but I don't feel like men, women are really challenging them to do so because they're black women on this feminist kick. Well, you know, if men are not going to get it done, I'm just going to get it done. And that's that. And I think in some instances, like. You know, I don't know whether it's, whether it's other men calling them to task or women calling them to task. Like, you know, some men need to step up to the plate and women need to be clear about what their expectations are in a man very early on. Like, 
I think when you let it be known where your intentions lie and what your expectations are up front, there's no room for confusion. Like we can as women think men are mind readers, let stuff slide that really gets on our nerves and then months down the line spaz out on him because he's like, what the fuck? What did I do? Like men don't get it. That's why you have to be clear and concise about, you know, where your expectations lie. Like we have to go beyond like him being Christian, like you got to be looking at eating habits. You know, you might want to even be thinking about when y'all have a baby, you know, do you want to have a natural childbirth? Um, do you want to do an at-home birth? You know, what about vaccinations? Is it going to be no vaccinations or a delayed vaccination schedule? Or is that not your thing at all? You know, are you going to be a vegan family? Are you not going to eat beef or pork? Like all of these things have to be considered. And then they're always subject to change. Like, you know, you could meet somebody and initially y'all could be vegan and then y'all might start eating meat. But then when you have a child, you might want to switch things up, you know, to provide a better lifestyle health wise and otherwise for the baby. Um, finances are important, you know, who you pair yourself up with, because what if you want to homeschool or what if you want to put your child in a prestigious private school? What if you want to send your child off when they get bigger to boarding school? Like, you have to think about these types of things. Like, I don't think with black people in general that we think far enough ahead. And I understand that part of that is because we're in survival mode and there's a lot of shit going on. We have this system of of that's been put in place by the dominant society. I totally get that. But we have to start thinking farther ahead. Like, when you hook up with someone and you're supposed to be in this marriage state of mind, you need to be thinking about stuff for generations ahead of you, whether you have children or not. Like, I'm not really sure I want children, but if I get married, like, I want to be thinking about how things can be set up for my nieces and my nephews and then their children and their children's children and their children's children. And I think <coughs> for us to get to where we need to be <clears throat> part of that is going to include that we have to build an economic base and we have to be thinking far far into the future like you know and we need to stop worrying about everybody else you can't <clears throat> help other people until you help yourself and a lot of us are a wreck and see you take personal accountability for what you've been through and how it's affected you <clears throat> and how you can heal from it Excuse me, guys, I got took on my throat. You cannot be of service to people and help people. Like, it just doesn't make any kind of sense. But anyway, I will go. Another video soon. Talk to you later. Bye.